Donning their combat uniforms, the specially trained personnel of 137 Composite Eco Task Force in Prayagraj are out on a mission. Also known as Ganga Task Force, their mission is to clean the shores and carry out plantation to mitigate soil erosion along the most sacred river of the country, Ganga. Ganga Task Force is a special unit of the Territorial Army raised under the public participation component of the Namami Gange program. The unit is mandated to carry out rejuvenation of River Ganga through activities such as afforestation, monitoring of river pollution, patrolling of ghats, public awareness campaigns and assist civil administration during natural calamities in the three districts of Uttar Pradesh, Prayagraj, Varanasi and Kanpur. We carry out the patrolling of the ghats just to check the activities like throwing of flowers, other material into the Ganges, patrolling by boat to see the biodiversity and check it. Also ensure that the fishermen, those who catch the fish in the Ganges, do it as a scientific method, not as an unscientific method. The flora and fauna and the aquatic species in the Ganges remain safe. Ever since the Namami Gange program was launched back in 2014, several concrete steps have been taken to clean the Holy River and to maintain its cleanliness. Apart from Ganga Task Force, NMCG has also roped an army of self-motivated volunteers from among the local communities to achieve their mission of clean Ganga. Identified as Ganga Prahari or the Guardians of the Ganga, they work for biodiversity conservation and cleanliness of the river. Ganga Praharis reach out to the locals residing in areas along the river Ganga to educate them about the importance of protecting the river's biodiversity. In partnership with NMCG and Wildlife Institute of India, this enthusiastic group of people is trained through a series of national, state and site-level workshops in diverse skills. They are trained to carry out ecological surveys, rescue and rehabilitation of aquatic species, awareness meetings and social interactions with the people. हर दिन कोई ना कोई नए लोग हमारे साथ जुड़ते हैं लेकिन हम लोग एकदम से किसी को गंगा प्रहरी के डेटाबेस में नहीं लाते हैं हम उनके साथ जुड़ते हैं उनके साथ काम करते हैं उन्हें ट्रेन करते हैं और जब उनको समझ आता है कि ये प्रोग्राम का जो फिलॉसफी है कि गंगा प्रहरी बनना उनकी जीवन शैली है उनकी जीविका का साधन नहीं है परंतु जब वो गंगा प्रहरी बन जाते हैं तो उनको एक अपॉर्चुनिटी मिलती है कई मौके मिलते हैं जिसमें कि वो अपनी जो क्षमता का विकास कर सकें उनके लिंकेजेस बन सकें और धीरे-धीरे उनके जीवन यापन के साधन भी उनके सामने आते जाते हैं। The National Mission for Clean Ganga has not only built infrastructure to stop filthy water flowing into the Holy River, but has connected the people in their mission to preserve and conserve the Ganga and its tributaries. The Ganga Prairies have done a tremendous job in uh, generating awareness among the fishermen and the other stakeholders about the, the biodiversity and the conservation of the biodiversity. And the Ganga Task Force has of course been helpful in, 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 in planting the trees and also seeing that the trees planted are protected and growing. So they have made very, very significant contribution for the achieving the overall target of, uh, of uh, Namami Ganga. The efforts of NMCG in preserving the river's biodiversity are garnering praise world over. In December 2022, the United Nations recognized Namami Gange Initiative as one of the top 10 world restoration flagship aimed at reviving the natural world. Be it the Ganga Task Force or Ganga Praharis, the participation of the society at large can only help the National River Ganga to stay normal and aviral. They are not only performing the task of conserving the deteriorating biodiversity of the Holy River, 
but also motivating others to contribute in making the Namami Gange mission a mass movement. Ganga hai ji.